What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player of the week review. So I'm actually going to roll these into one video. We're going to have the European Club Championship and the Worldwide, okay? Now you might have noticed as well that they've kind of changed how these packs work, right? So you still have your two boosters here and you've also got your third booster in here, which makes for a, a total of three, the Kettler, uh, McAllister and Gabriel. Gabriel is an absolute beast. You can see that we've already spun four, right? So we have spun four, we got a free one, we got a tree with the coins, and then we have one from the events as well. However, when you open this pack now, right, and hopefully we get another one of the boosters here. Let's speed this up a little bit. It is Manuel Neuer. I know Ron will be raging with that one because he was looking for him, but Manuel Neuer, will definitely test him out now as well, right? Not going to compete with the superstar goalkeepers like Buffon and, of course, Oliver Kahn and Czech and Sticky Seaman. But I do feel as if that Manuel Neuer could be very decent, right? He could be decent if you're looking for an attacking goalkeeper. And I do think that his stats are nice. He's got every player's skill that you could possibly want, including that huge kick and power. And obviously, when you throw him into your squad, you're going to have the boost to his awareness and reflexes as well as reach going to be into the 90s. So yeah, I'm happy enough with that. However, you'll also notice as well that even though the pack says sold out, you can still go in and look at the pack. This was really annoying from a content creator point of view. Because once the pack was open, you'd have to load up another account if you wanted to check the card that you didn't get. So I'm glad that they did this just for a quality of life type thing or a UI type thing. Um, but the rest of the cards in here, man, I don't think that they're they're really anything to shout home about. We've had better versions of Marcus Lorente, De Vrij. Maeda is not a bad option. I know a few people were looking for him. He doesn't have a booster. He's got his new kind of hairstyle there as well. Nice speed, nice acceleration, nice balance, but let down by his tight possession. And also let down as well by the by the lack of player skills. So I definitely think he'll be an interesting one if you are a Celtic fan. But other than that, he's just a run-of-the-mill uh, kind of a winger. You have Martin here and you have McCoy there as well, or Maku. Um, this guy is an attacking midfielder. He doesn't have a real game face, which I know throws off a lot of people. And just average stats, lads. Honestly, it's nothing really to shout home about. The same with Martin here as well, even though he's on A rating. Just an average left back with blocker and interception is nice. But yeah, I don't really recommend him. Angel De Maria. So a lot of people actually looking for De Maria as well. This is actually kind of an interesting player of the week because there's a lot of really nice cards here. Yeah, I definitely really do rate De Maria. He's kind of a hidden gem, a hidden gem and an underrated card in the game. Pity he doesn't have his balance a little bit higher, but everything else is pretty sweet, including that lofted pass and, of course, that curl, which is really nice with that kick and power acceleration and also low pass going into the 85, 86, 87 mark. So, yeah, I liked him as a cross specialist. Tammy Abraham and Marcus Lorente and De Vrij, I wouldn't really get too excited about them. Tammy Abraham's just a traditional goal poacher, but he's not going to be able to compete with the big boys. That balance is criminal, honestly. It's terrible for him. And then, of course, Marcus Lorente. He's kind of like a, a Valverde, but just a little bit clunkier. He's one of my favorite players before in eFootball 22 on my road to glory. But yeah, he has kind of outgrown the game a little bit now, but he's a nice utility player if you do get him with huge speed and very base, solid stats. And then we have the Vrij, who's down as the destroyer, okay? So this guy is pretty decent. He's got tackling and defensive awareness. Whatever boost you're going to get with the manager is going to put him up there as well into all 90s. But the speed lets him down a little bit for a destroyer. And the way the game has gone at the moment, I think the defense has even got more clunky, okay? We also have the Kettler here with the max booster. Very decent card. But again, we are just absolutely bombarded with attacking midfielders and whole players specifically. Um, you know, there's some uh, unbelievable whole players in the game. So this guy is not really going to change the dial too much um, when you're looking at the top guys. We already looked at Manuel Neuer there. And then into the two big boys. So McAllister, definitely rate McAllister. He is your run-of-the-mill orchestrator. Probably a little bit kind of, I would say, mid-tier. He's definitely not top tier or meta tier. He just doesn't have the physical contact for an orchestrator that you kind of need now as well. I know it's not a big deal. It's kind of a hypocritical thing to say that you need physical contact for an attacking player, but I think he's just on the cusp of being not really fast enough and not being rapid enough. And again, he just falls into that category between the cracks. Gabriel is definitely the pick of him. We actually spun for him and we got him and he's an absolute beast. An absolute beast on our free-to-play squad. We didn't spin for him in this one or get him in this one. Well, we did spin, but we didn't get him. But he's an absolute beast. He's got everything you could possibly want. 
a bit lacking in the skills, but he's got all the skills that you could want apart from acrobatic clearance. You can't train those skills yet. It might come in the future. Hopefully it does. Insane stats. And he's up there with Saliba. Pretty much the same as Saliba, really. Um, they're just really, really, really solid center backs. So on to the actual player of the week for the domestic league here. So the pick is obviously Salah. This isn't as good of a pack. I would say that, the, that these six back here, these seven back here are not really worth shouting home about i mean they're just not man i mean i'm not even going to go in for go into the keeper here Sillison. he's just not that good uh you know this guy's shade not to throw shade at him uh that was a bad that was a bad dad joke no that was i can do better than that but the speed and the acceleration is quite poor here or quite high but everything else is just not where it needs to be per, for a prolific winger my aid is actually better than him even though he's he's kind of tall he kind of reminds me of Gakpo a little bit you also have Ludovic Blas this guy's down as a whole player again almost too many whole players in the game that can just do a job for you although this guy's got really decent solid stats and it's amazing that he's actually only 93 overall obviously thrown off by his lack of speed Lacazette we actually spun for him with the booster I'll definitely give him a whirl on our main account maybe not but on our road to glory we will and again you have Cabrera here as well just too slow man is a center back even as a build-up just not gonna cut the mustard and he doesn't have a real face either which I know throws off a lot of people Rabmani, this guy again is a build-up not bad quite defensive but too slow I know I keep saying about speed and he keeps saying about you know the speed of the game when Harry Maguire can catch Mbappe and that's a good point if you're saying you know Listen, the speed doesn't matter that much. But the problem is, is that you're not comparing these cards or rating these cards in a vacuum. You're comparing these cards against solid, solid cards that have been in the game for months, such as free Rudiger. If you've only jumped onto the game, you're going to have better free cards handed to you with the free login bonuses and stuff. So it's very, very difficult to place these cards. Now, we did get Sideshow Bob, Mark Cucurella. Um... I think this guy is, he's pretty decent, man. He's pretty decent. Interception and blocker, aerial superiority. And, of course, sliding tackle there as well. And he is pretty decent as an attacking fullback. I haven't used him that much, but we have spun for him. Listen, all of these cards are usable. They're just not going to be meta. They're going to be a mix between low tier, non-usable, and, and, and meta, right? Now, Amadiello, this is the player that I want for my next spin he's a box to box right mid right wing very interesting card with huge balance huge acceleration and speed and of course we do have that tight possession dribbling and ball control at a pretty decent rate as well but look at the aggression and the defensive engagement for a right midfielder that's huge and he also has some really nice player skills he's missing flip flap he's missing one touch pass and of course he's missing first time shot but we're not too worried about that that's who i'd like to spin for too many uh, versions of Salah have been out. The Blitz Curler version of Salah at the moment, lads, is an absolute disaster of a card. He's just so good. I don't mean disaster in a bad way. Disaster is the wrong word. I mean for the opponents. He's just unbelievable. He's got his new trim in the game as well. He's looking fresh straight out of the Barbers. He's got his dribbling, his tight possession, his curl, his speed, his acceleration, his kicking power, his balance, his stamina, his attacking awareness, all over the thresholds of where you need him to be. Absolutely, perfectly perfectly balanced stat wise and he's handling like a dream so far in the game we also have this guy as a whole player again i'm not going to say too much about him he does have super subs so that draws it back a little bit but let's see who we get in our spin here so the top pick i would say for this would probably be salah followed closely by diala and our uh, Amo Diala. Oh, we got Salah. So that is a huge pull there. Even though we have him on the Blitz Curler, we'll give him a little spin as well. And then also for this one, I think McAllister, Gabriel, and I would also throw Maeda and Neuer in here as well. The Kettler is good as well, but there's just so many AMFs in the game. So lads, that is it. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video with a subscribe or a like. Smash them buttons. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Peace.